Hello, beautiful souls. And I get you here. Today we're talking about how to heal our ancestral trauma wounds of female oppression so that you can become the wealthy woman. Oh my goodness, I have done some interesting, very interesting research that actually really shocked me, really shocked me. Uh, this is to do with uh, a woman and her ability to control her own money and her own financial sovereignty. So I've got some really cool fun facts to share with you. And today we're going to do a guide meditation, energy clearing to cut the cords to ancestral wounds and trauma around money. One of the things I tend to see on the, on the internet, and I actually literally just saw it about five minutes ago on someone's post where one of my members, one of my students, um, one of my former clients was sharing one of her wins from her, one of her clients and her client had just had a $10,000, um, uh, dollar, um, payday and another, um, person on the internet trolled her and said, this is fake. This is not true. This is BS and just basically slayed it. Now, this is not an, an unusual occurrence. I've seen this quite a lot of online where other women are attacking other women for making lots of money, saying it's not real, it's not true, it's fake, you're lying. Um, and, and so basically this is an ongoing kind of habit and pattern that a lot of women have about attacking other women around finances and money. And consequently, a lot of women hold themselves back financially. They hide what money they're making because they're scared of being attacked by other people. And it's in general, speaking it's mostly other women so today I want to unpack what's really going on behind this behavior and it's going to blow your mind this is probably one of the core wounds that needs healing in order for you to break through your upper limits in terms of how much money you're making in your ability to actually not only make money and vast sums of money but also hold on to money right if you're finding that money comes money goes this is probably why there's some ancestral wound or trauma tied around finances and money so i think you are going to really enjoy today's training so um we're going to be here probably for around about half an hour about half an hour to do this clearing and obviously it'll be saved into facebook and instagram so you can always catch the replay so listen up guys this is huge huge okay so here are some facts guys you're going to be shocked by this so i did a little bit of research are you ready are you ready okay so um women in the u.s were not allowed to vote until the 1920s 1920s uh, in the uk it was 1928 and in australia australia was a little bit earlier it was 1902 Okay, so in the in less than less than a hundred years ago, women have been allowed have the right to vote to actually raise their hand, speak up, and make decisions about the government. Essentially, make decisions about how, what things are done in their own country. Okay, and so you can definitely go research a lot of this to do with the women's suffrage movement, and it was happened in a, a, a lot of countries as women were fighting for rights of independence. Next one, land. Okay, so officially, women were allowed to own land from in the uk from 1870 in the us it was 1900s australia it was 1884 so it looks like the us was pretty late in the game for for women to actually be able to own land so prior to that if a woman uh was uh was uh, born to to wealth and had uh, money and property when she got married that wealth and property became her husband's she couldn't own it physically herself it became her husband's okay um so women were not allowed to own land okay last 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 fun fact bank account i was shocked oh my goodness are you ready for this right so officially women were allowed to have their own bank account meaning they didn't need permission of a husband to open up a bank account they didn't need to share their bank account they could have their very own bank account have their very own savings so in um uh, the uk the uk 1975 <laughs> a year before i was born <laughs> that's insane 19 the 1970s okay us 1974 australia 1971 so it looks like again australia is a bit more progressive so women were not allowed to have their own bank accounts until around about the 1970s so no wonder ladies you struggle with making money holding on to money saving money feeling comfortable talking about money and getting freaked out when other women make lots of money you're like it can't be true it's it's not real it's bullshit. who are they who are they to be flaunting their money so today i'm going to energy clearing for you to bust through this nonsense it's shocking right sonia yeah i know it's shocking i was like what <laughs> 
it's incredible. So today I'm going to do energy clearing for you. So a lot of this is ancestral. A lot of this is ancestral. So when you think about, you know, the burning of the witches, this happened in almost every country across the world. Over 8 million women and men were killed for being called witches. So um, during um, the the sort of like the, 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 the 1500s, 1600s, it was not permitted to divorce. It was against the religion. So the way that men got rid of their women is to call them witches. So if you had a mole just above your neck, you'd be called a witch. If you live past 45... It was suspicious. You must be using magic to stay, you know, old and uh, um, stay young as you're getting older, right? Okay. So there was all these like weird rules that these men made up to basically behead their women so they could run off with the the mistress. So it's not surprising that we carry so much fear around being visible online, uh, making creating having their own businesses, creating great wealth, and feeling comfortable about speaking about money. So typically, you know, a woman wasn't educated, she wasn't involved in the conversations around money. And so to this day, a lot of women are still looking for the man to be the plan, looking for the man to take care of them. They're too scared to get a financial education um, around and around finances. And so a lot of women are struggling with with this the, the whole energy around financial sovereignty financial education and actually building their own wealth okay so i want to start to normalize these conversations so that when you do see one of your fellow sisters having a 10k month having a 20k month 50k month 100k month 200k month one million dollar month that you're not shocked that you're like wow this is amazing if they can do it i can do it when you start to celebrate your fellow sisters, the universe is listening and saying, oh, is that what you want? And it shows you solutions and ideas and puts you in financial in, in frequency with creating that for yourself. But when you get jealous, jealous and envious and you start trolling other women, what you're doing is rejecting that prosperity from yourself. OK, so when you, this is why I want you to be very careful about what you do online and what you say out loud in regards to the wealth that other women were are making. So for a very long time, very, very long time, I would hide how much money I was making. I never felt comfortable about discussing with my students or my clients. If they found out how much money I was making, uh, the fear was they would stop buying, they would stop enrolling, they would think I'm just in it for the money, they would think I'm not spiritual, right? Because for me, it was, yes, I need to make money in my business because I'm running a business. It needs to be financially viable. I've got overheads I need to pay for. But my motivation for doing my work is not the money. My motivation is the love that I have for healing, coaching, mentoring, and empowering people. I've been in the personal development industry since I was like 23, right? I attended my first kind of like seminar, the, the Born Rich program by Bob Proctor and John Canary at 21. So I've been in like personal developments from a very young age. So over the last 25 years, I've been in this arena. I love this work. I love empowering people. So when I see my clients celebrating their wins, making money, I know that I'm helping them to create financial sovereignty because I know it's going to impact their families, their children, their community. If I can help them teach them how to create abundance in their lives, not just financial, I know they're going to go and teach that to their people so it gets passed on, so we can create more um, uh, empowerment for women around the world. Now, this is not to belittle men. It's not to compete with men. Like I'm not interested in competing with my husband. I'm not interested in bad mouthing men. That, that, that's not, that doesn't help anybody. What I seek is that we walk equal to our kings. The woman and the man walking as equals rather than her being subservient, waiting for him to take care of her, waiting for him, waiting for the man to be the plan. Does that make sense, guys? Just give me a yes. That makes sense. Yeah. Okay, Elena's just checked in Russia. Women could open up a bank account in 1917. Okay, so the, the Soviet Union was a bit more progressive. But it's still not that long ago. Not that long ago, right? And so we carry a lot of belief systems around actually receiving money, having money, talking about money, learning about money, right? And for a lot of women that I've seen in my community as healers and coaches, they're terrified of being visible and seen as being successful so they keep their six they, they basically sabotage their success for fear of being powerful because the ancestral coding in our dna says it's dangerous you'll be killed you'll be beheaded you are not permitted it's illegal you're not allowed this is not this is not on the conscious level it's all in the unconscious 
And so what women do to other women on a primal level, it may show up as jealousy and envy. Other women attacking other women online for their success. Who does she think she is? She's flaunting her wealth. This is BS. It can't be true. But as you dig deeper to what's really going on on a subconscious level, this woman sees another woman successful. She, it triggers her, her ancestral fear. She's terrified. It's not safe. It's dangerous. I would like to create this kind of money. It's not safe for me to do that because I'll be killed. And, the, and if she's doing it, she puts other women in danger. So my, my, my gender, my gender is flaunting their wealth. It's not safe for us. And so we suppress each other to try and keep ourselves safe. If we stay invisible, if we stay small, if we don't talk about money, if we don't talk about wealth, we keep ourselves safe. It's a protective mechanism. It's a survival program. So when women are attacking other women, just know that this is what's going on at an unconscious level. Okay, are we ready guys? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do an energy clearing for everyone watching live. This will also work if you're watching the replay. Okay, it's also work if you're working, if you're watching the replay. Okay, all right, you're ready. Let's do this. You can see I'm really passionate about this topic. I start to speak really quickly. I start to shout. Mm. Okay, let's do this. <sighs> Close your eyes. Send yourself in your big, beautiful heart, feeling present to the moment of now. And be ready to be liberated from the oppression of women down your ancestral lineage. Just feel, feel your, your auric field expanding, expanding past the room you're in, the building you're in, the city, the country, the planet. Feel yourself expanding across our solar system and across the Milky Way galaxy, expanding past all the galaxies of the universe. And the more you expand, the lighter you feel. Expanding your consciousness and your auric field past the universe through layers and layers of light, all the way into this beautiful pearly iridescent light, the energy of God, universal intelligence, Allah, whatever you call this higher power. And just feeling and sinking deeper and deeper into this beautiful divine light, you are made of this substance. Beautiful. This is going to be a powerful healing, guys. Are we ready? So this is going to be done for everyone watching live as everyone watching replay. This will be healing will be done on your behalf. Down the ancestral lineage. And in the collective consciousness. Okay, so let's just first bring in the energy of knowing and understanding and feeling that you are free. Okay, teaching your unconscious mind that you are free. What that looks like and feels like to feel free, to have freedom in your life. To be able to make your own choices, your own decisions, without being controlled by men, husbands, brothers, fathers, government, society, your parents, what it looks like and feels like to have the right for your freedom and that it's safe for you to have your freedom. Thank you. This will be done in all languages, all levels, all aspects. Okay. Everywhere that you are waiting for permission, permission from your husband, permission from your parents, government, anywhere that you're waiting for permission to live your life, waiting for outside circumstances before you make a move, waiting for the economy to change before you make a decision, everywhere that you, you're in this waiting, this in this like, like this, um, it's like almost like an airplane waiting to land. It's like you're, you're going around in circles, waiting for outside circumstances to change, waiting for this permission. Let's just show you that it was never required and that you can give it to yourself. 
what looks like and feels like to give yourself permission to make your own choices, your own decisions, and to make your moves from expansion, from freedom, from joy, from love, from potential, from possibilities. Would you like this? Thank you. Oh, that was a big one. Whew. Make sure you guys are breathing. <laughs> breath brings spirit into the body and makes the energy move, yeah? Don't forget your breath. Good. Well done. Well done. This healing still works if you watch in replay, guys. Just think of it as a pre-scheduled healing above the planet. Good. Okay. So next, this will be done on an ancestral level with your permission. You just need to give me a yes out loud or type it in the chat. So can we teach you and show you that you are now you are now free to own property you're now free to own land you're free to have control over, over your own money you're free to own a bank account you're free to have your own um, money finances and wealth and have full control and sovereignty over that that the suffrage suffrage movement is complete and finished and over that you can have and you do have full control over your finances and that it's it's safe for you to do so, all right? So we're just bringing these codes into down your ancestral line. So somewhere you're at, your ancestors still think the fight is still going. So it's just teaching your DNA that it's finished. It's over. It's done. The, 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 the uh, protests and wars that your ancestors uh, fought is now finished and over. And that you no longer need to stay in the struggle, in the battle and the fight for your financial independence. Is that okay? This is a big energy, guys, yeah? Okay, some of you ladies are panicking. Don't worry. When we put this energy in, we're going to put in the energy of attracting the right teachers for you. So it might be a tax advisor, a good accountant. It might be a wealth manager. Right? There's lots of um, places you can go for the financial education. So just know that when we put this energy in, we're going to also download that your vibrational match for the best uh, financial support around you so that you can get educated. So you can start to not only make money, keep money, um, but also build your wealth. We're talking about generational wealth. So wealth for you and your children. Yeah. And your grandchildren. So know that once we clear out this dense, heavy energy, we're going to bring in all the support. Okay. That's better. Thank you. Okay, let's teach you and show that you can still be supported by a man. You can still be taken care of by a man, right? We're not denying or rejecting the support of men, okay? It's always nice to have that support of, of our kings. Okay, that's the men, the male energy or the husband or the father figure is the protector energy, right? They feel good when they're, when they're in their masculine being protector and provider, right? That's what, that's part of their, their coding in the masculine. Female is the nurturer, the carer, right? Now, that doesn't say that you can't also be protector and provider, right? When, when, the, when the mother is protecting her child from danger, she's in protector, she's in masculine energy, right? So we, the men and women have both masculine and feminine aspect, Right? So when we're bringing in the energy of financial independence, we're not saying we're rejecting the money of men or support of men. What we're saying is you get to have both. It's not either or all. Right? You get to have the support of a man and you support yourself. You get to make your own money and you can also receive his money. And you're also free to receive your money and share your money with him. It's an agreement between you and your significant other and your relationship. Right? You, you get to create your own rules is what we're saying. Yeah? Okay? Now, okay, now it's going in. Yeah, your subconscious is like, oh, but then the man won't take care of me. It, you get to have it all, ladies. You get to have it all. It's not either or, it's both. What we're doing right now is we're accessing the field of, of possibilities and pure potential. When we're breaking down these old rules, old paradigms that no longer serve us. The man is not the plan. You are the plan. Oh, 
Okay. All right. So guys, I'm going to guide you through this. You're going to witness your own healing. I'm going to witness it, witness it for everybody else. So witnessing might be seeing, feeling, sensing. So feeling as you're breathing, you might feel energy shifting in your body. That might you be witnessing. So if you're if you're quite kinetic, you're going to feel the energy shifting through your body. If you're quite visual, so a lot of my community uh, like in, are intuitives, you might you might start to see things. I'm going to guide you through this process because it's going to be unique for everyone. So we're going to go to the first kind of seed of trauma. Now, because we're doing a healing on trauma, don't please don't feel that it has to be traumatic. I love healings quick and simple and powerful. You do not have to relive a trauma in order to heal it. Let me repeat that. You do not have to relive a trauma to, to heal it. It's not required. So we have had many incarnations, many, many incarnations, right? This is not your first rodeo, all right? So you've probably had maybe 500, 600, 1,000 you know, lifetimes. Your ancestral lineage is made up of thousands and thousands of people. So why would you have to relive the trauma to heal it? It makes no logical sense. So as we're clearing this, don't go into the drama of what happened. I just want you to almost look upon the situation with love and compassion and knowing that you're ready to release it through the frequency of love and forgiveness. Okay. All right. So let's just teach you and show you that you can heal trauma quickly, easily, simply through the frequency of love and forgiveness, rather than reliving traumatic experience and crying and sobbing. Because if you had to do that for every single lifetime, it, you would you create trauma by the healing itself, which is just lunacy okay so we're going to do it with love and forgiveness so i'm going to allow this infinite intelligence this divine energy to take you to the seed of where it all started down your line this might be ancestral it might be past life okay just trust wherever the universe or the creator guides you to your seed and we're just going to witness a healing occurring for that seed now the intention for this particular trauma is the seed of trauma around your survival because money and survival is actually it's actually very linked very very linked so with the invention of money when we used to before we exchanged um we used um like a goat for a sack of rice and then it became shells and then it became like a little money tree with little coins that got broken off so the the concept of money over time okay kind of like evolved but it got linked early on to like survival if you didn't have money you couldn't survive so it triggers survival mechanisms so what we're not healing is we're not actually healing your money problem because that's actually a symptom. What we're healing on a deeper level is survival. The moment where your survival was threatened, that you anchored it towards money, that made you afraid, afraid of actually having money, keeping money, spending money, because it triggers survival, survival, a survival wound. Okay. So this is the intention for this particular um, uh, healing is to go to the seed of trauma to heal this survival trauma. And we're going to witness it together. I'm going to witness it for you as well. But I would love for you to start to feel into the energy and start to practice what it feels like to, to feel into and take responsibility of your own healings. Okay. And it's very simple, very easy. It's just through intention. Intention. Okay. It's as simple, as powerful as that. God gives you the gift for you, for you to be able to, to heal yourself, right? To become aware of what's holding you back, to make new decisions, right? Creator gives you the gift of free will. Choice is what we're talking about here. God gave you the gift of choice, right? And you get to choose to let this go with ease and grace. It doesn't have to be hard. Are we ready? Are we ready? Okay, just give me a yes if you're ready for this. Gonna be huge yes good you see my facebook friends here instagram love it good 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 okay let's do this <sighs> close your eyes so we're requesting to be shown the first seed of trauma that this might be ancestral past life where your survival was at risk that got linked to money where you made money your source of survival. We need to unhook that, right? Money is money and your survival is survival. We need to unhook the two to, to, from, to, to, uh, from each other, okay? You'll be taken to your seed of trauma where, where, there, where the anchor was created. Just trust whatever you're seeing, feeling, sensing. I'll witness this healing for you as well, guys. Trust the process.
We're just going to make a simple intention just to heal this. It's as simple as that, guys. That it's no longer required. That it's complete and done. And you may look upon the situation through the eyes of love and forgiveness and compassion. You may feel the energy. You may feel a buzzing. It could be in your heart or your chest. It could be in your, your uh, belly button. It could be in your solar plexus. It could be in your base chakra. Okay, wherever you feel it in your body, put your hands on that part of the body, wherever you feel it. Now, it may be in a couple of areas. So for me, I'm feeling it in my, my, my chest. Like my, I can feel my, my chest beating very hard and uh, I can feel it in my belly and I'm feeling my adrenals tingle. So I'm, see, I'm feeling it in a couple of spots in my body. Okay. So all you're doing is just feeling the presence of the divine light, love, and seeing, feeling, sensing the energy moving and just allowing it to be healed. Allowing it to be simple, allowing it to be easy is completed. Breathe. Let this divine energy come in through your crown chakra, move through your body and just resolve this, this trauma of around survival linked to money. Breathe, just move. I want you just almost like imagine, you know, you've got an ocean wave, the tide comes in and tide comes out. So the emotion may be heightened and rather than trying to run away, just feel the emotions and they'll come like an ocean wave. It'll be high, it'll tip and then it'll, go, it'll crash down again. So just allow this ocean wave to move through your body. What we're doing is we're actually regulating your nervous system through this process. So just allow your body to go through the emotions. You're absolutely safe, right? It's Saturday, the 6th of April, 2020. Four, right? You're safe in your home or safe in your car. You're watching this, like you're not in danger. It's all good. So, whatever you're feeling, just know that it's a past memory, and we're just collapsing this past memory, okay, in, inside your physical body. Allowing it to be easy. Breathe. Letting it go. There's nothing you need to do. The energy of the divine is highly intelligent. It's just simply shifting the energy, transmuting the energy. And just like the ocean wave, the tide will come in and come out as many times as it needs to until it cleans the frequency from your nervous system. Releasing, letting go. It's no longer required. It no longer serves you. But it's safe for you to release this now. It's safe to let go. And if it helps you to move through this energy, you can say the words out loud or silently in your own thoughts, release. 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 Release, 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 release. And if it helps, you may like to say this in your native tongue. Some of our programming is in our native tongue. Release, 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 letting it go. You guys are doing really well here. Really well. We need to just bring awareness to where you're feeling the energy in your body. Feel the ocean wave coming in and coming out as your nervous system is balanced. And if you like, you can call in maybe an Ascended Master. Now this might be, I like to bring in Kuan Yin for compassion. This might be Jesus or Mother Mary. This might be Prophet Muhammad. This might be Garden Angel Michael or Gabriel. 
whoever you'd like to bring into this healing to be present so you can feel safe and secure to let this go. Release. 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 You guys are doing so good. I'm seeing so much light over everyone's um, energy field. I'm feeling very strong pulses coming from your base chakra. Your base chakra is to do with abundance, financial abundance, prosperity, wealth, but also an abundance of support, abundance of love, abundance in all areas. Knowing you are safe, knowing you're protected, knowing you're powerful. Beautiful. Well done. Well done. And let's allow the divine to teach and ensure that it's now safe for you to have money, make money, save money, invest money. That it's safe for you to talk about money, learn about money, get a financial education about money. For you, it's safe for you to build wealth, generational wealth. That you know how to and that you can. You're available to magnetize to you all the teachers that will support you in this process. And that it gets to be easy. That you have the right for this. Nice deep breath. Open your eyes. Okay, ladies, let me know how are you feeling? How does your body feel? That was quite a deep healing. Good. Thank you for my emojis, guys. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. That was intense. <laughs> that was intense. Whew. Okay, this is just the beginning. This is just on fire, on fire. Yeah, yeah. As I felt, as I tuned into some of the, the the ladies here, there's some deeper healing that needs to be done around like trauma around the men in your life failing you and your finances. So it might be your, your husbands, boyfriends who took money from you, borrowed money, never paid the back, fathers who perhaps didn't provide for you or made great wealth and lost it. So some of this some trauma around like where well, you gave away power to somebody else around finances and then they lost it. And then um, and then now you're like almost like rejecting wealth for yourself as a way to punish them. It's a bit of a distorted program. So this is the inner work that you need to go and do. So this is the homework for you guys, this is homework. So jot this down, you can jot this down. What do I wish was true around money and finances? What do I wish was already true around money and finances? Yeah, Sonia says I had a bit of a cry and felt a release. You did good, Sonia, you did good. I, I, felt, I felt your energy. Yeah, you did good, yeah. Yeah, solar plexus for shifted. Good, good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my pleasure. My pleasure. It's so important. Exactly, Biliana. So important. It's 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 very profound and important work that we do. Very profound. Because we want to walk as equals to our kings. Yeah. We stand, we walk um, in the path as queens, alongside our kings, kings as equals. We're not seeking to compete with men. We're seeking to, to be interdependent, interdependent. Uh, Vladimir says, 
as Charlotte says, my crown chakra, oh my God, feeling great. There's plenty, I am enough. Oh, I love it, I love it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> so beautiful, so beautiful. So what do I wish already was already true around money and finances, okay? What do I wish already was already true? You're gonna code those in, you're gonna program those in using your tools, right? Better healing, NLP, EFT, journal, use your, use your energetic tools to code that in. Then, if now that now that I know that this is true, what actions am I taking? If this was already true, so let's say for example, what do I wish was true around money? Okay, so let's just say I always have ten thousand dollars in savings. That's already true, yeah. Or I or I already have you know five investment properties generating passive cash flow, right? Or I already have five streams of passive cash flow coming into my life. Right? What would I, so if that belief was true, what actions would I be taking? So this might be learning how to invest in property. It might be opening up a second bank account for savings, right? It might be looking at passive cash flow strategies. So you can just Google online, right? Passive cash flow strategies. So we started to teach some of those concepts inside um, a little um, mini training that me and Evelyn did uh, a few weeks back. I'll post some links for you guys a little bit later on that. But there are so many strategies for passive cash flow. So many. Okay. So as a result of believing that to be true, what action steps would you be making and doing if that was true? And then you take those action steps in the frequency, listen carefully, in the frequency of certainty of the done deal. That if you knew, if you knew that you always had a minimum of $10,000 saved in your account, minimum, if that was your, your energetic minimum, what would already be true? Okay, and then whatever action steps you're guided, you make you take those action steps. Okay, that's going to be your homework. All right. Okay. All right. So this is just the beginning of the process. Okay, my beautiful souls. Hope you enjoyed today's training. This is just the beginning. There is deeper work. This is not a complete healing. Just so you know, this is a definitely a de uh, there's definitely deeper work to do on this, um, and it's obviously unique to everyone. So I want to invite you to an upcoming meditation energy clearing. Okay. It's going to be, I think it's like two hour, two hours meditation. Um, it's going to happen um, on Thursday. And uh, let me just see, I've posted the details. It's the, um, let me just bring it up. Sorry, I have to bring myself back <laughs> because I'm in everyone's energy. Just one moment, please. Okay. Okay, I'm back. All right, so it's called um, Heal, Quantum Leaping into Your Abundant Self. Here's what we're going to be doing. We are going to be something, doing something crazy cool. It's the beginning of my new energy healing modality. Yes, Anna Ketney is creating an energy healing modality. I've been doing bits and pieces of my own stuff in my body of work for the last five years, and it's all coming together in the form of my own modality. So this is like a little tiny taster of this. So what we're going to, doing, we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing quantum jump into another version of you in another dimension, another reality, who is already abundant, already has the money, already has the wealth, already has the investments, already has the financial literacy, and we're going to be connecting to that version of you and bringing through the codes from that version of you. Okay. All right. So I've taught pieces of this inside um, a soul line um, money mastermind and some of my high level programs. So some of my people have already received portions of this teaching already. So I'll officially be making it open to everybody um, inside this meditation. Okay. It's on the 11th of April. Okay. At 5 p.m. GMT. It's on early bird right now. Um, so I'll post it for Instagram friends. I'll post the, um, the link for you below this video um, so you can uh, go grab it. Okay, so this is essentially jumping into another version of you in, in another universe, right? Parallel universe and bringing through the codes and information into this incarnation. So what we're doing is essentially creating a quantum leap in your evolution and growth. And then from that place, you'll be able to be receiving guidance on the action steps and moves to make. So we're, we're also bringing through a different frequency right? It's a frequency. So wealth carries a certain frequency, carries a certain frequency. So we're going to be bringing through that vibration frequency into this incarnation, into this timeline. So this is where you're entangling with the quantum into the field of possibilities, into the field of possibilities. We're connecting to a future version of you, okay, that has already created this, 
All right, so that's what we're gonna be doing inside the quantum leap meditation. Also, I've released a very small handful. I only sent it in my email list yesterday. A bunch of sessions have already gone. So I am offering a very limited number of uh, private healing sessions using this quantum leaping method. Um, so the link is already in Facebook, but again, I'll post the link for you guys inside Instagram, inside my bio. So there's only a few limited spots left. So grab those before they go. That's um, a one-to-one -one private healing with me. Okay, all right. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much for joining me. I had so much fun. This is such powerful work, such powerful work. When you release this, the, the energetic frequency and code that we've already installed in you just today has expanded your awareness to actually not just make money, but hold on to money, right? Keep money and to begin to start to save and invest money. You're going to start to think differently. You're going to start to experience different conversations. You're going to start to see different opportunities. You're going to start to see with new eyes that you didn't see before. So I want you to be on the lookout for money-making opportunities. I want you to start getting comfortable with money conversations. And when you see your fellow sister making stacks of cash, I want you to celebrate her. There's a beautiful quote. Um, there's a beautiful saying in, in, in Hawaii. Um, it's... it's um, it's basically uh, where you, when someone has something good that happens in their life, you bless them. Bless that which you want. Bless that which you want. So if you see someone having a, a beautiful car or a beautiful piece of jewelry or, you know, a handsome husband or whatever it is, bless them. Never forget Be happy for them. Be happy. Yeah. Be happy for them. All right. Bless that which you want. All right, guys. Thank you so much. And we'll see you inside the beautiful meditation.